Bioshock Infinite, we're playing the second DLC. We are as Elizabeth, if you could tell by her fingernails. She has no feet though, but look at her hand. She's got fingernails. That's definitely a lady's hand. And uh, the way that this uh, checkpoint system works in here, I had to actually play, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so just to kind of get to the roughly the same position. So, anyways, let's move on. I think there was a locked room here somewhere. Thank you very much. I have a code written down on a piece of paper from when I played last, so I just have to find the room that uh, is all locked up. So this is like super creepy with all these giant robot arms and stuff. Shears, just some random shears stuck in that poor arm. Uh, patient ward, I can't recall if I've been through here or not. But we'll go ahead and uh, look here. Uh, we'll switch to shotgun for a little bit. Fink Manufacturing is not liable for any damage or trauma that may ensue as a result of this operation. <laughs> Get a sign on the dotted line that you're not going to sue. This is like such an old school uh, setting. I really like the old school hospital settings. I think it's that kind of same... Uh, same affection that I have for uh, old school asylums, like these old hospital beds. And, uh, I don't know, I just I enjoy that. Alright, so it looks like we have a way to go through the docks, which might be good. This poor dude's uh, had better days. So we've got patient 1213, patient 13A5, Patient one two 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 seven. So let's go to the Operation Theater. Operation Theater. So yeah, that was the dude that we saw before. This was one of the kind of mini bosses from the main game. Tough buggers to kill too. So this is kind of cool that they would show this sort of assembly line in here. I guess it's kind of neat. Well, I think it's less than. Well, I guess it's assembly line. It looks almost like they're taking patients and turning them into those monsters. Okay, so here's the room. So I'm gonna assume. Oh shoot, I hit the button by accident. That was a waste. Two eight four seven. Let's see if we can do this here. We'll find out what's behind this door. Yeah, awesome. Hello. Oh, it's an upgrading. Looks like we're gonna have to go through there. Uh, it's an upgrading station. Iron sides mod. Sure. Get some money. And a lockpick. I got nine lockpicks. Ha ha. What is this here? It's like a. Uh, I don't know what this room is. It's almost like an electrical room. Or maybe security office or something, I don't know. Look at all these gauges and st such. Uh, yeah, those are all good. I'll take all those, thank you very much. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at our uh, plasmids here. So I've got Peeping Tom, Possession, I've only got that to level 1. Iron Sides. So yeah, so I've got that to level 2, Old Man Winner. Huh. Neat. So, do I go this way? I don't know if I go this way. No, I think this is where I came from. Oh no, maybe not. I don't recognize that out there. Wow, what happened down here? All these noises in here. Oh, see there's a vent there. Oh, saving profile, that's got to be something. Oh, we're back out to here now. Ah. Find the hair sample. Where the hell is this hair sample? Not sure where I'm supposed to go. Up? No. 
down, it looks like. Where am I going, Dave? Imprinting studies? Sure. Quarantine zone. Okay, so we have definitely not been here. An audio file right there. Let's go through. Oh, shoot. Oh, we need to possess us. Yeah. Now we gotta stir up some. How do I get in there? This guy's gonna quickly turn. Observation and engineering. Look at this place. This is awesome. This is what I really liked about Bioshock Infinite. I think it was the, the main difference between the two first two Bioshock games was uh, the Bioshock Infinite was the claustrophobia. Like here, obviously, wide open. If you have a sense of being in the wide open this year, where in uh, the first Bioshock games were kind of closed in the water, it's very different feelings. Huh. Seems like Fink and Su Chong were sharing their research. Like the Lutessis. Cross reality collaboration. Yeah, there's a big daddy and there's the bird thing. Hmm. Crazy. Crazy. Evolution. Oh, something's there. Test subject inventory. How do I get out of here? I think we're going to learn about that robotic bird. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. Hmm. Okay. Let's go this way then. Lots. Three four one to three six zero. These are all like animal cages. We don't find any liquors in here from uh, Resident Evil. Shears, a couple pairs of shears we've seen in here. How do I? I don't see anything in here that's. Uh... I don't even need that. Salts. All right, fine. Salts. Constants and variables. That's a clever way to sum up the entire game series. Who's this guy? That monkey's had. Uh, he's got himself all. Wow, that's cruel. What the? I'll leave her. I will pull it in a minute. Look at this thing. Creepy. You can hear uh, Elizabeth's feet. More videos here. Another animal. Another test subject.
This is kind of insane. All these doors are locked up tight. I'm just exploring and I'll come back and open all or activate all those. Skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and songbirds to little girls. Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. Okay, so I don't want to go in there just yet. Let's go and uh, find out what's going on uh, with these uh, contraptions here. Oxytocin. So what does that do? What the heck's it doing? Alright, well let's go back and do the other one. Medic. What is all this? Imprinting. That's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would you think you care about that? Songbird. He wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. Yeah, he sure did. Songbird. That's that giant robotic bird I've been mentioning to you a few times. I'm not going to spoil it from the main game, but uh, yeah, it's relevant. And then we add a little oxytocin to the imprinting. Let's go through here. Oh my goodness, this is insane. So These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. Look at all these lots. Sitting in something. Status failure. Status failure. They're all failures. Huh. Jeez, that is super creepy. Imprinting, Imprinting fail. failed. I can't be right. Clearly, they formed a connection between Songbird and me. Oh. I was so young, I... I always remember him just being there. Yep, indeed. That's like part of Songbird. Wow. What the hell are they doing to him? Looks like they're still like performing tests and recording data. Wow. Review of all biomarkers. Oh, geez, I get to go here. It must be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Does it matter? Storytelling purposes. I tried hypnotherapy. On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. Aha. Who the heck was chained in here? Let's go to the event. <laughs> Okay. 
this dark room here that's not creepy at all. Aww. Walker, the little girl in the film, it's me. My God. Oh, I, rem I remember he, he was, he had crashed into the tower. I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking, thinking, I, I don't know that something would happen, but, but he just lay there. Moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Creepy. Oh, hair sample. Wait, it's my hair, isn't it? It's gotta be my hair. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all of the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. So I got myself my own hair from who knows what timeline and what reality. It's open. See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers. Spread out. Oh, this can't be good. So where am I going? That way. Aha. Uh -huh. So where can I go? She does not have the ability to strike. Oh, but she has the ability to shoot guns. Don't think you can hide from me. Oh, I'm totally hiding from you. Gonna hunt you down. Oh, a glass. I ain't no private dick. Someone Someone else else somehow. Oh, there's a dude right there. Hi there. Oh shoot. Never stop fighting. Oh, hello. That guy. Thanks for death. Here I come. Not creepy at all. Hey, are you alright? That's it. I'm coming for you. I'll find her. You're gonna die. You're next, you hear me? Yeah. Took care of all of them. Okay, walk on the glass now. Okay, so we need to go this way. I don't know if we can down here or not. Oh, 
that's right, we're totally there already. Oh, hi. Okay, I don't remember that. Well, these holes never ran out here before. At least I don't think they were. Go for a little walk, nothing there. I guess it's just to more help with your stealth. for myself. Su Chong can only offer table scraps. And Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. Ha <laughs> ha Very awesome. 